Today, we're going to talk about series circuits. A series is a number of things coming one after another. Depending on your cultural reference, you might think of a world series, or a series of unfortunate events, or a TV series. All of these, you have one thing coming after another after another. In a series circuit, we have a single loop here, and it's got th several different resistors, one after another, going through the loop. Key points for a series circuit. We have, a, in a single loop like this, the current is the same everywhere. The current is not eaten up by the resistors. It just flows right through them without stopping, like water going all the way through a pipe, all the way around. Every spot in the loop has a value of potential, and this value is going to be different in different spots. When you go all the way around the loop, you have to come back to the original value that you had at that spot. All right, let's look at this for a simple circuit. Here, we've got a battery, and this battery produces a 20 volt potential difference. If we call the negative side of this battery is 0 volts, and the positive side of this battery 20 volts, then we can start to analyze it. For every single point on a single wire in a circuit diagram, every single point is going to have the same voltage. So this, volt this point over here is going to be 0 volts, this point over here is going to be 0 volts. Meanwhile, going around the other side, over here we've got 20 volts, over here we've got 20 volts, and so on. Every point on each wire has a particular voltage. Now, when we look at the 5 ohm resistor right here, we see that one side of the resistor has 0 volts, and the other side of the resistor has 20 volts. So if we want to figure out what happens in terms of current going through that resistor, we use I equals V, o, v over R, the uh, Ohm's law equation. We have 20 volts, and we have 5 ohms, and we can compute that 4 amps goes through this circuit. That means that we have 4 amps going here through the 5 ohm resistor, but we also, because the current is the same everywhere in the loop, we have 4 amps going around this way, we have 4 amps go going around this way, and around here we've got 4 amps, and around here we have 4 amps. So this entire loop has 4 amps. That would be how you would analyze a simple circuit using those rules. Now, let's move on and look at an example of a series circuit. Here's a fairly straightforward series circuit. We see again that the battery produces 20 volt potential difference. So we can say that on this side we have 0 volts and on this side we have 20 volts. Everywhere along the 0 volt wire we have 0 volts of potential. And everywhere along the 20 volt wire we have 20 volts of potential. This gets us up next to resistors but it doesn't give us exactly what goes on in the space between the 0 and the 20. There's more than one thing going on there. There's two resistors. So we don't exactly know what's going on in the middle. What we do know is that current is going to come out of here, out of the battery. It's going to go around. It's going to continue around the loop all the way around. And this current is going to be the same everywhere. All right. Now, we know that starting here, we've got 20 volts. And over on the other side, we have 0 volts. And so between those two resistors, the voltage is going to have to drop by 20 volts. So we can do this calculation. We've got 20 volts from the battery 
and that has to equal the voltage drop from the first resistor plus the voltage drop from the second resistor. What we do know about these resistors, I guess looking a little bit over here, we can see that we have a current I through each of them, and the first one has a 3 ohm resistance, and the second one has a 7 ohm resistance. And they have the same current. So, we can rewrite this as I times 10 ohms, and then we can compute I is equal to 20 volts over 10 ohms is 2 amps. So, we can take our information that we have 2 amps that went through this circuit, and we can say, okay, 2 amps went through this guy, 2 amps went through this guy, 2 amps went around the loop this way. And everywhere in the circuit was two amps. All right, so now if we look at the individual resistors again, we can say, aha, in this resistor here, number one, we have three ohms and we have two amps. So how much does the how much does the voltage go down when we go across that resistor? If we go from here to here, how much does the voltage go down? We can use Ohm's law with that particular resistor and say the change in voltage is equal to I R. It's 2 times 3 is 6. So what we know is that the voltage is going to drop six volts as it goes across this one. 20 minus six is 14. So we learned that over here we have 14 volts and over here we have 14 volts. Now if we look at the second resistor we see that we have two amps going through that resistor and has seven ohms of resistance. So we multiply those together and we see that the voltage should drop by 14 volts going across this resistor. And it drops, as we see, from 14 volts down to zero volts. So that makes sense. Another way to look at this is to consider what we call the equivalent resistance. If you were to look at this circuit from the battery's perspective, you would say, hey, I'm a 20 volt battery. I produce a 20 volt potential difference and I have coming out of me two amps. So how much resistance do I see? We call that resistance that that battery thinks it's seeing the equivalent resistance. To figure out how much resistance there is in that whole circuit, sort of a total resistance, what we do is we take the voltage, which was 20 volts, and the current, which was 2 amps, and we compute the resistance. And we find that the equivalent resistance of this whole circuit is 10 ohms. Now if you were to go back and look at that problem that we did, you would see that we got a 10 ohms here when we added up the 7 ohms and the 3 ohms. And in general, that is how we do this. In order to compute the equivalent resistance, you add up the resistances of the individual resistors. And you get 3 ohms plus 7 ohms equals 10 ohms. That, in fact, is a general rule for series circuits. So let's look for a moment at the general series circuit rules that we can see having analyzed this. The first one is that the current is the same everywhere throughout the entire loop. Our second rule is that the total or the equivalent resistance, if you were to imagine that this circuit had only one resistor, then the resistance of that one resistor would be the sum of all of the individual resistances.
in our problem it was 3 plus 7 equals 10. And our third rule is that if you look at all the individual resistors, the voltage drops of all the individual resistors add up to the total voltage of the battery. We had that in this problem here when we had it dropping from 20, it dropped 6 going through R1, and then it dropped another 14 going through R2 for a total of 20 volts potential difference. These three rules 